here I am, hear what I do. Now, I don't even bother that. The promoters come to me, yeah. you know, because they've seen that I'm out there. The, the, the social media is there, you, you know, you use it as you will. So now it's a thing where promoters will come to me and say they want to use me for whatever they want. Yeah. Can you describe your DJ style? Authentic. Authentic. Um, it, it mixes up with a bit of, like I said, the Uroys and the, 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 the Tappers and the big youth and everything and just roll into one. Then I might throw a bit of Papa Lee, Vian, the, the Colonel and everybody, everybody, everybody like that. Yeah. Roll it into one, but I've watched it one style as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> How many members are in your sound? At the moment, oh God. At the moment, it's about, what, three? We, we, we lost one. Can you name them? Oh, he's a name them. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're, they're in and I mean, they're, 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 what it is, they're, they're my roadies. Okay. They're my roadies and they help me out as, as, and I'm grateful to them, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, can you tell me who your top five DJs are? Top five DJs. Now, when you say DJs, is it, is it, is it, is it Other than yourself. Is this DJs on radio, DJs on record? It doesn't matter. Oh, Lord. <laughs> DJs, okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll do the DJs on radio okay. that, you know, I'll listen to to know that, you know, they, they've got tune and things like that. Robert Allen is definitely one of them. I don't, I, 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 you know what, I don't think a lot of people realise how much of an influence that man is. Oh my day, it, you know, to, to this day I miss that man, but he was definitely an influence. Yeah, so Robert Allen was definitely one of them. Oh God, who else? <laughs> who else could there? Oh man. Uh, uh, you know what? I'd even say um, Courtney Melody to some to some degree, and, you know, because you know he's he, he's a man. He has a way of doing things, and it works. Mm. You know, at the time, you know, man, he, he can build a crowd and have the da- people you know, have the dancers running and that. So yeah, my my hat off to Courtney Melody. He's one. He's that's that's two. Oh god, is this just reggae or, or soul as well? You tell me. Um, I'd say PC Mystery. Mm. He's another good influence. He knew how to market. He knew how to market, and that was his way. And you know, ever, ever since then, he's been one of the top, the top DJs. I'll, I'll definitely go to one of his darts and take in and take in his style of music. You know what I mean? Chris Goldfinger. Now, now we're getting something. Chris Goldfinger, because as far as anyone's concerned, 1990s, he was he was the first to come from Jamaica to Britain to start doing the juggling, the two turntables, and the mixing and all that stuff. So Chris Goldfinger definitely. Um, the fifth one, I honestly couldn't tell. Shall we say, shall we say Tony Williams? Okay. God rest him as well, Tony yeah. Williams. Yeah. Yeah, again, if we're talking like, like DJ and radio and things like that, yeah, we'll say Tony Williams, because again, before, you know, before we became DJs, we was all listening to him. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? What about sounds? Tell me your top five sounds. Top five sounds, well, def- well def- again, would well, that be, that would be Shaka, Saxon, Coxon, Abashanti, King Tobbies. Okay. Uh, which DJs do you enjoy working with? I like working with um, Gladio Wax, um, my friend from Huddersfield, Axis, mm-hmm. Axis Valvatron. You know, me and him work many a times. Um, who else is there? <laughs> oh, there's, 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 there's a few, there's a few, there's a few. I mean, those, those two particularly. Okay. Um, the sound that I would love to work with again, but he'd either come from Jamaica or be Jar Observer. Okay. Jar Observer, yeah man, Spider Man, big up, big up, anyway you are, you know what I mean? And it, it, it someone like you on Grebs, because it's him that made me know Italy and the Italian sounds okay. in. So it's him I'm always grateful to, so you know what I mean? And so that's that's free, who else is there? Oh, I can't even feel nervous. No, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's other sounds, but. It's a pick, pick them out in the mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Share your most memorable event. Bricks and Splash. Bricks and Splash from, um, for the six years I've done it and every year it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and people loved it and the music and the, the whole scope of it was just beautiful. Lovely, lovely vibes, Bricks and Splash. And, and when I was doing the Dennis Brown tribute dances, when I first done the, um, when he was when he was 50 at the time, mm-hmm. I did it at Brixton Town, that was a night. 
Mm. That was a night. And I tell you how much it was such a night. And I was really like, oh my God, I've, I've made it. When the phone was just ringing for tickets and I had to run all over London and jump off tickets. This dance is going to be big. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, it was a very good night. Very, very good night. So the, the first Dennis Brown dance I did as a tribute. And yeah, so that and Brixton's Fest, those are two good memories. Okay, what is the difference between a dub and a special? A dub, to me, because that's, that's what I play. Mm. Dub to me is pre-release tunes. So for example, you have a famous tune, it'll come out finally mixed and everything. On a dub, it'll be like the raw mix. Okay. So there's no special, there's no singing, singing over the um, okay. sound system name, it's just a raw mix. Raw dub mix, raw version, how many cuts you can have. You can even have a different song on the, on the rhythm, one away, and no, no sound can't play that back. So that to me is a dub. A special is obviously you, you get artists, you pay them, they sing, a, they sing a current song for you, or they might sing a custom song for you. Do you know what I mean? DJ or sing, whatever. That is a special. Okay. And why, why purchase dubs and specials? For me, dubs, it just has that, it, you have to be exclusive, you have to have that kind of trade to say that people come to my dances specifically to hear that style of music, mm-hmm. whether it's rock steady, whether it's rockers, the, the, the early reggae, yeah. right up to the rubber dub to the 80s, you know what I mean? They, they, you can say, yeah, and no doubt I'll have a dub plate or dub wise mixes to those, and I'll, and I'll play them, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What is the best sound clash that you have been involved in? Do you know what? Of recent, I would have to say the last dance I did with, with, with myself and Nasty Rocker with Gaffer Blue with Duffet um, Showdown. Both dances, the first one and the second one, brilliant night, brilliant night. And people are still coming to me now saying, when's the next one, when's the next one? So it's been demanded. It's yeah. been the money for another another dub play dance. So I mean, it, it it shouldn't have been clashed, but it ended up being a bit clashed. But we kind of or banner for a better word. But uh, we kind of dropped it down to realize, no, no, no. The people want your children. That's where they come from. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'll say that was a really good dance, really good session. Okay. Where has your love for music taken you? Everywhere. In everywhere. I mean, mostly mostly Europe. Mostly Europe. I mean, I've gone to Italy. I've gone to. Um, Holland, I've gone to Switzerland, I've gone to Germany, do you know what I mean? I've gone to certain places where I thought I'd never go, you know what I mean? So, yeah, there's still other places, but hopefully when all this thing lifts off, you know, the phone calls and the emails will be coming and, and we'll just take, take, you know, continue where we left off. Yeah. Do you believe in the Most High? Absolutely. And how does the Most High affect your work? With everything, everything, you know, it's just guide, guidance, guides me all the way, all the way, you know what I mean? So. It's that thing where, you know, you have nights where, I'll tell you one particular night, there was a night where I, I played that and the sound just didn't play. So I plugged out everything. And then you, you just got a beer tapping your shoulder. Yo, are you the comfort? You know, are you the comfort? And you just found that strength. You just found that strength, plug up the sound again and boom, the dance play, the dance was going nice. So you just give thanks for that, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell us about your achievements. Well, it's, it's the same as I said, the, 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 the dance that I do different from everybody else, that's achievement with, it, with itself. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's, and because people are used to going to clashes and they, they're sick and tired of the clashes because it's the same, 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 same thing. Mm-hmm. But when they hear something, what I'm doing is like, ah, breath of fresh air. Then they're taking something different. Yeah. yeah. What advice would you give to an aspiring DJ? An aspiring DJ, be yourself. You know, you can follow to an extent, but have your own identity. Mm. You know what I mean? Everybody influenced from somebody. You know what mm. I mean? We all influence from somebody, but somewhere you're gonna have your own style, create your own style, and before you, before you that, you build it, and then that's it. You're gone. So be yourself, yeah. and don't let no one stop you from anything. Okay. The, the door is open for everybody. Yeah. What about if it was an aspiring salmon? What would you say? And it's Brian Salmon. Yeah, I'd say the same, same advice. Same advice. But have your own sound system. Yeah. <laughs> have your own sound system. I mean, the, the, today now, a laptop is a sound system, yeah. which to me is not. Sound system to me is the turntable, the preamp, the amps, the wires, the boxes, you name it. Yeah. That to me is that's the that's where I've come from. And I'm yeah. still dealing with that. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm not left in that, not left in that. I'm still playing vinyl. Yeah. And if I'm the last, I've said it all the time, if I'm the last man standing playing vinyl, I will stand up. With the vinyl in my hand, so yeah. So they're still walking with the box. Yeah, man. <laughs> totally. Absolutely. Absolutely.
Could you share what plans you have for the future? Once this thing lifts off, continue our lift off. Um, you know, more dances. You know, people, people, people's like ringing me all now. When's the next dance? I can't wait. Don't want to do this zoom, zoom, zoom thing, you know, because that's what I'm resorting to at the moment, yeah. between the radio and the zoom dances. Mm. And that's what I'm resorting to at the moment, but we're all, we're all going for it. Mm. So once the gates are open, I'll be finding new venues. Because I know this, what I realise that people will be barling for us, even places that we, we never had a chance to play before, they'll be barling for us to come back in there. Yeah. They'll be barling for going there. So that'll happen. Wherever venues are available, I'll just, you know, go in there and do a thing and come yeah. out and see it. You know what I mean? Well, we know that a, um, a dance compared to Zoom is not the same, but can you tell us how, how it's different? It's completely different because you just don't have that shit. You just have that, that vibe of people. Mm. I mean, you might see it on screen and there's only a handful of us on the screen because if, if you turn over the page now, everyone, everyone's blank. Yeah. So you might get about 10, 10 people, 10 screens, and they might be dancing. But it's not the same as actually being there. Yeah. So that's the difference, not being there, you know what okay. I mean? How can our listeners, listeners keep in contact with you? I'm on Venture FM. Um, the Facebook is there. I use Facebook every day. Instagram, I don't use it as much, but I do Twitter as well. But 99% is either the radio, the advertisement goes on radio, or uh, on, on Facebook, on WhatsApp, and the Messenger, and all that stuff. I always you know, pl- plug myself, whatever I do. You okay. know what I mean? mm. Please feel free to make a shout out to the well wishes, friends, and family. Just gonna big up everybody who's 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 rated me and respected me and loved me and I love you back and yeah, and those who know where I'm coming from and know where we're all gonna go and just say respect and all and, and you know and blessings to everybody you know what I mean you know the usual families children and uh, you know relatives loved ones lady friends loved ones <laughs> you know what I'm saying everybody everybody who knows me who knows where I'm coming from big up and bless up to everybody and you know. Yeah man, let's keep it cool, you know what I mean? Alright. Fire Red Station, the hottest on the planet. Me, what's the one say that? Don't know, everything's blessed, blessed, almighty blessed. <laughs> Thank you very much. much. Yeah, yeah. Fire. This one for Fire Red. Fire, 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 fire Red Station. Let me hear you say you have been back with me, Sean. Let me tell you something. Judge them through them cause division. Yeah, I got bonding with the leaf away.